Trap 4, Crowbar, first single off the album, I guess out of every song on the album, the most kind of unmistakable Rattlesnake song, would yeah. you say? Yeah, I think it was the, like, it was always going to be a mission statement for us. Yeah. Not just lyrically, I mean, the lyrics literally say, if you're going to try and put us in a box, we're going to smash your box, like, and then we're going to carry mm. on. Um, but musically, it was like, it, it was the way that we, it was the easiest transition, wasn't it? From Modern Ruin, through, yeah. from Blossom through Modern Ruin into like future Rattlesnakes. Crowbar's just got like, it's got the riffs, it's got the aggression, it's got the right sort of vocal melody and it's got the beat like. And so um, of all the first choice singles, um, this was the most like Motorhead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath that uh, that big sound, that unmistakable rattlesnake sound, it's a, it's a lot of sentiment in there. There's mm. a lot of emotion under under underneath it. Well. I think I was always, I think I'm always nervous, like with my art. Like when you when you finally get down to record an album, it's such a personal thing. It's such an intimate like thing that you share with a small group of people, and you and you're really trying to put forward like a new a new chapter for everybody, you know. But you're like you can't write too much of it. Obviously, you've yeah. got to you've got to just give the start, and then you give it to the rest of the world. With this uh, with this tune, like like I said before, it was about it's about being yourself, but it's also about how like society, your family, education, even your friends, your peers, they they all have a different perspective of what is right and wrong in the world. Everybody does, you know, like the way we all live is not always acceptable for other people. But the fact of the matter is like, no one can ever tell you how to live. The minute you start living in someone else's like, rules, it's the quickest route to unhappiness, do you know what I mean? And I think that was for me, like what I was, I was it was more a mission statement to myself. It was more a reminder, a stark reminder to say like, be yourself, go and explore, do whatever the fuck you need in life. And you know, while you're doing it, don't worry. Like, just just relax, like, because if you can't, you've got one life, so you better fucking enjoy it. And, and you may as well enjoy that by doing whatever it is that you want to do. Absolutely. You know, like, love whoever you want, kiss whoever you want, listen to whatever music, dress the way you want. Like, don't stop living in other people's guidelines of what they think is right for you. And that can be your partner, your parents, your boss, your, your work colleagues. It doesn't matter, like, unless you are happy in yourself, that's, that's the only thing that matters, and that's what the song's all about. And Cam and Alan, when, when Frank and Dean came to you with, with the album, or when you were put, putting it together, were you, were you surprised at the, almost, the, the tone of the album and, and how it sounded at all? Did you expect it? I'd had a brief, and I spoke to these guys first, and they'd said they'd, they'd moved on and they, they were going for a different sound, so, it probably wasn't as much as a surprise as it would have been if I hadn't had that. Mm. But it, it definitely it was an evolution from what I perceived of them before. And come yeah. for you? Well, when it came to me, uh, when they came to me with it, the first thing we did, and Crowbar was half n towards the end when yeah, we did it, didn't we? Mm. Because we were, we were scared of it. Because <laughs> yeah. we were like, how are we going to make this? Sound as, sound as brutal and amazing mm. as it can be. I, I don't. The thing is, we write so much music when we're when we're writing songs. I don't. I have like no memory of at what point these riffs came <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah. I just have like a. I sit down and every time I try and write, I try and write like three to five things, and I'll just voice note them. Sure. Um, but I remember. I remember when we wrote the song that this this and Tyrant is a King. I think because they may be hark back to what we've done before the most, came the quickest. Mm. So there's, there's, the songs came together in a really short space as mm. part of a day when we'd write two or three songs. Um, but the thing I liked about this song once we finished it was that it, I don't think it sounds anything like Blossom or Modern Ruin. It has the essence of that kind of more, I guess, aggressive or riffier side to us, but there's so many, like sonically, so many sounds in there that we would never have done before. Um, that I was still like, kind of weirdly as proud of this song, as I am of something like Angel Wings, which is a whole departure, this also felt like a, a way of hearing how that side of us can be in the future. If nothing right. else, when you hit the line, go and get the fucking crowbar, yeah. it's perfect what to stage line. dive. Yeah. What like, a line. Do you know what I mean? That's, yeah. like my, that's my absolute moment to flip off right, something to the yeah. crowd. Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. Right.